Hello everybody, this is 3.1, 6th grade math. Here's the contact information for PowerPoints and video. 3.1, classifying rational numbers. Classwork, 36 points. Here is the bell work for this lesson. Writing improper fraction as a mixed number. So you go from here to here, and then here's your process of doing that. Write each improper fraction as a mixed number. Students, get on that. 7 over 2, 12 over 5, 11 over 7, 15 over 4. And Classwork page 1. Reading startup, understanding vocabulary. Use the check words. Here's our vocabulary list right here. Whole number, positive opposites, negative numbers, integers, fraction, divisor, dividend, decimal, and absolute value. Preview words, rational number, and Venn diagram. So these are some new words here. These, we've had a lot of these so far. These are new here. Fill in each blank for the correct term for from the preview words using these rational number and then diagram. A blank is any number that can be written as a ratio of two numbers, two integers rather, two integers. And a blank is used to show the relationships between two groups. So students, fill that in. Oh, there's your answers after waiting teachers give your students a couple minutes and then do a reveal like that so students can check their own work correct their own work page two classwork visualize vocabulary so we have integers here integers these are integers what kind of integers are those and then what kinds of integers are these what kinds of integers are these? And then what kind of integer is that? Negative numbers, positive numbers, whole numbers, opposites, and a whole number, positive number. Uh, <clears throat> give students a few minutes to do, they, to do this, teachers, before you do a reveal. Essential question, how can you classify rational numbers? explore activity this is the standard here for this prepping for 6.ns.6 <clears throat> classwork uh, page 3 <clears throat> <clears throat> representing division as a fraction Alicia and her friends Brittany Kenji and Ellis are, are taking a pottery class the four friends have to share three blocks of clay. How much clay will each of them receive if they divide the three blocks evenly? <clears throat> the top faces of the three blocks <clears throat> of clay can be represented by squares. Use the model to show the part of each block that each friend will receive. Explain. So this is a word and kind of a meta a metacognitive kind of a question here. Divide each square into four equal pieces. So you have three blocks that need to be split four ways. <clears throat> Write each person's first initial on a piece of each square. So B would be for Brittany. A would be for Alicia. K for Kenji and E for Alice. B A K E B A K E. And again, teachers, give your students a while to on their class worksheet. They have those closed areas that they can fill in. Give them a chance to do it and then do a reveal like this. This is page four of classwork here. 
Each piece of one square is equal to what fraction of a block of clay? So each piece of one square, each piece of one square is equal to what fraction of a block of clay? And that'd be one fourth. These blocks are divided into one fourth. Explain how to arrange the pieces to model the amount of clay each person gets. Sketch the model. So arrange each person's pieces in a square. So here's Alicia's square. A, A, A. So she gets three-fourths of a block. Brittany gets three-fourths of a block. Kenji gets three-fourths of a block. Ellis gets three-fourths of a block. <clears throat> Page five of classwork. So the, these are the fractions of blocks of clay that each student will get. What fraction of a square does each person's pieces cover? What fraction of a square does each person's pieces cover? Explain. So here is the response and then the explanation, 3 over 4. There is room for four pieces in each square, but each person only has three pieces, so 3 of 4 or 3 fourths of a square is covered. How much clay will each person receive? So 3 fourths of a block of clay. So we've kind of like really uh, reiterated that several times and, and teachers give your students time to uh, respond to these questions ask your students to come to the board first before you do a quick reveal like i've done in this preview page six classwork here's our blocks again and here's the reveal again on these blocks of clay Again, stressing the, the visualization of this uh, uh, arithmetic fraction problem here. Multiple represent, representations. How does this situation re represent division is the question. Dividing the three blocks of clay equally among four friends represents three divided by four. So th this is basically a visualization of this quotient here. <clears throat> Communicate mathematical ideas. 3 divided by 4 can be written 3 over 4. How are the dividend and divisor of a division expression related to the parts of a fraction? So that's a good question. The divisor is the denominator. So here would be your di uh, divisor. And the dividend is the numerator, so we have 3 divided by 4. Classwork, page 7. Analyze relationships. How could you represent the division as a fraction if 5 people shared 2 blocks, if 6 people shared 5 blocks? So we would be 2 over 5 for this question here. 2 blocks will be divided five ways, and then five blocks divided six ways here. Now we go into our homework. We got 16 points worth of homework. A nature club, here's a good word problem with a table. Students reading from table and coming up with uh, conclusions is, is a great exercise. And then page four here of our homework. We jump here on the homework. <clears throat> and it's a, a hiker problem and then three three cats and two dogs problem. Write your answer as a fraction as a mountain dollars and cents. And then page five of the homework. A group of five friends are sharing two pounds of trail mix. Write a division problem and a fraction to represent the situation which pertains back to the to the um, to the explore uh, question in the lesson so that was uh, 3.1 for sixth grade math uh, further information for powerpoints and video 
and uh, worksheets can be at, obtained if you email me here at that email address. Thank you very much.